de Villard, the soldier who would not die. Sir Adrian Paul Gisling Carton de Villard was a lieutenant general in the British Army, 
and was one of the most fascinating combatants in the history of warfare. He was the type of officer who always led from the front and would lead the charge by calling on his men to follow him. Such a fighting spirit resulted in him getting wounded 11 times, of which seven of these were quite severe. During his 34 years of military service and participation in six different conflicts, he lost his left eye and left hand and earned himself the title of the most battle-scarred soldier in history. Right up until the First World War, Adrien Carton de Villard served in South Africa and India. In 1914, de Villard was sent to British Somaliland to help fight the local dervish movement. This is where he suffered his first severe injury. During the attack on the fort at Shimberberis, de Villard was shot in the arm and the face. The latter injury cost him the loss of his left eye and a piece of his left ear. As soon as he recovered, he expressed a wish to join the British troops in France. He threw away the glass eye he had been supplied with and started using a black eye patch, a feature that would become his trademark. On the Western Front, Duviar commanded three infantry battalions and a brigade. During that period, he was wounded seven more times. At the Second Battle of Ypres, shrapnel from the German artillery bombardment shattered his left hand. In the field hospital, de Villar asked the doctor to amputate his fingers, but because the doctor refused to do so, de Villar tore off two of his fingers himself and threw them away. The injuries he suffered that day caused him to have the whole mangled hand amputated anyway later that year. During the Battle of the Somme, de Villar commanded the 8th Battalion Gloucestershire Regiment and personally led his men into an attack at the village of La Boiselle. He attacked the Germans with grenades using his one good arm, managing to pull the pins out with his teeth and throwing them. 